Hello beautiful person watching this video, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, hello and a very warm welcome to you and thank you so much for watching. And to you all my returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back. On today's episode of Healthy with Bena, I'm going to be sharing with you all how I make this delicious stewed eggplant. Now guys, I love these vegetables and fortunately enough I grew up eating it, so I'm going to be sharing with you how I watch my mom cook it with some slight more. Eggplants are a vitamin rich vegetables and very low in calorie so if you're looking to lose some weight or just cut back on your overall calorie intake you definitely want to incorporate eggplants into your diet. I love it because it is so gentle on the stomach it is great for digestion. Guys please stick around and I'll share this yumminess with you all in a moment. So guys, to start, I usually use salmon to um, cook my stewed eggplant. Now you can use basically any sort of protein sauce that you want to add in there. You can add even maybe smoked turkey, smoked chicken, um, whichever way you want to go. But I prefer to use smoked fish and I always use the smoked salmon and I, I do it myself. So as you can see, I washed my salmon. I'm going to remove the fins with my scissors and once that's done, I'll go ahead and put about four slits on each side of the salmon and then next I will proceed to salt it. Once that's done, I will put it on the broil option. Um, I usually don't smoke it too long, just a little bit to remove the moistness and I will show you in a moment how it looks like. So guys, here is our salmon. It has smoked beautifully as you can see. Um, like I mentioned before, I usually don't keep it there too long. I don't want it too dry. I just want them to be less moisty and just harden up a little bit so that it doesn't break. I've gone ahead and also removed the, the bones. So I separated the bones from the flesh. Now on to prepping my eggplant, guys. As you can see, I have here with me three beautiful eggplants. They look gorgeous, don't they? I'm just washing them thoroughly. Always make sure to wash your fruits and your vegetables thoroughly, guys. Especially if you're eating them in a salad. Um, even if you're cooking them, wash them properly. And next, I'm going to proceed and use my potato peeler and just lightly remove the skin from the eggplant. Now, this is what I grew up seeing and, and eating. The eggplant that we grew up eating, we would remove the skin. First, we usually boil it before peeling off the skin. But for this one, we cannot boil before taking off the skin. So I'm just going to remove it lightly. And the potato peeler is good because it doesn't take the skin that much. It just takes it off lightly. I want my kids to be able to eat this and sometimes um, the skin can make it a little bit bitter. So that's why I'm doing that. As you can see, I'm done peeling it off completely um, I'm going to proceed next to just cut them up into bigger chunks once I cut them up I'm going to steam them so I'll put a little bit of water and steam the eggplant and as I steam them as they cook completely and the water dries off from them I will use my spatula or my wooden spoon to just match it up lightly now this is also another step that I grew up seeing my mom cook eggplant she would use the wooden spoon we will match it up rather than cooking them in chunks we mash them up to not too much of a paste but a little bit less chunky basically it's what we would do so we will proceed next to stew them. Why are eggplants? 
plant is steaming on heat, I'm going to be prepping the rest of the ingredients. So I have here some tomatoes. I'm using Roma tomatoes. I have my onion, some two cloves of garlic. I have some scallions. I'm only using the leaves, guys. I love the flavor of scallions in my eggplant as well. And I'm also going to be using some colors. As you can see, I have all the colors from bell peppers. I love colors in my uh, eggplants too, guys. It just gives me life, as you know. So, of course, I'm going to be adding them. I also have here my scotch bonnet. And I'm going to be using some chicken bouillon and salt for seasoning to taste. So, let's start prepping. So to start cooking our eggplant guys, I have my pan here, it's on heat already. I'm going in with some oil. I'm going to be using peanut oil for the stew. And to that I'm just going to add in our onions. in the garlic as well and I'll just let this cook for about two to three minutes until the onions start to caramelize before we can proceed to add our tomatoes okay. I also like to add in a little bit of smoked paprika to just give it some color I love color guys So our onions have cooked for about two minutes. I'm just going next with the tomato. I'm also adding in my two scotch bonnet at this point. And I'll let the tomatoes cook for about 10 minutes until they are properly cooked and melted. So I'll come back to you once our tomatoes have cooked up properly and then we can proceed. So guys, our tomatoes have cooked and as you can see all the water has dried out. I'm just going to go ahead and add in a little bit of oil more to that. I'll go in with some chicken bouillon for seasoning. I'm just going to put a little bit right now until I go in with the smoked fish like I mentioned before it has some salt and then I can taste and adjust my seasoning at that point. So right now I'll go in with the bell peppers. I like to add the fish at the same time as well. And my scallions. I'm just going to stir this up. I'll let the fish release some of its juice into the tomatoes and the peppers before we can proceed to add in our eggplant. Guys, right now I'm going to go ahead and add in the eggplant. As you can see, I let the fish and the bell peppers cook a little bit for three minutes so that the fish can release the juice. And now I'm adding in our eggplant. And when you add in your eggplant, just make sure to stir really well. I'm going to be very careful while I stir just because 
I have the salmon fish. I don't want it to break easily. So I'm just going to gently stir this up. And at this point, you also want to adjust your salt and your seasoning so it should taste to your desired taste buds. So guys, as you add in your eggplant, just make sure to turn off the heat while you stir properly just because the eggplant has already been cooked you just need to stir properly and make sure that everything mixes up really well adjust your salt and your seasoning to taste so guys our yummy eggplant is all ready to be served as you can see it looks beautiful guys it looks gorgeous it tastes absolutely delicious the bell peppers just makes the flavor oh my gosh it tastes so good you want to try this recipe please make sure to include the bell peppers in there it really gives your um eggplant this decadent taste you will not believe it thank you so much guys for watching this video um if you liked it please do not forget to give it a thumbs up also please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so you can join the healthy with Bena family and when you do please hit that notification bell so every time i upload a new video you'll be the first person to be notified until i see you in my next video please continue to drink lots of water stay hydrated be well be safe thank you so much and bye